up, you beautiful bastards? Welcome back to another beautiful episode of The Paradigm Shift. If you're watching this video right now, I'm going to do it to you in the beginning, so I don't got to ask you again. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell to stay notified. Fucking with the energy heavy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk to you about a recurring topic that we're still dealing with in today's day and age. And yes, that is the motherfucking tell we yeah, so your man's is wildin'. Your man's is wildin' and I'm trying to figure out, like, yo, <laughs> yo, why is your man's wildin'? And by man's, you know what I mean. For Twitter. This morning, the billionaire's vision for the platform is coming into focus as questions over free speech versus hate speech swirl. Kanye, Kanye, While the suspension of recording artist Ye, Kanye, formerly known as Kanye West, from the platform has captured headlines, hundreds of Twitter accounts belonging to far-right activists and QAnon theorists have been reinstated, according to data reviewed by NBC News. Which, which means not only are people actually paying attention to this, in a way, I guess, un, like, unrecognizable, if that makes sense. Like, it, the moves that he's making are just obvious. And that's kind of my question as to, like, why we're allowing this, this, this dude to do what he's doing. You know what I mean? Like, it don't, it don't. It don't make sense to me. It doesn't because it's not. And I don't want to say it's because it's not fair. I don't want to say it's because it's not fair. But it's like this is what we saw when people were coming out and saying, my father got radicalized by QAnon. My dad. We watched the, the scene from the boys. You know, oh, my sister went to January 6th. My family, I wish she would have never done that. I don't know what could have done this to her. And these people generally look affluent. Or at least, you know, your own room. And we've talked about this before. If you, That's why I uh, did that to Greycraft that one day. <laughs> oh, my God. So I did that to Greycraft. I was like, yo, do you have a room? You have your own place? That's crazy because your emotional state means you could break down in the middle of the floor whenever you're feeling like you need to break down and nobody will be there to judge you. If you don't live alone, people are going to judge you. <laughs> he handled it well, though. I give him that much. He handled it well, though. <laughs> but we hear about radicalization all the time on the internet. It's the quite literal main topic of the day. Kanye West is literally is, is, is literally is, is a, a supposed billionaire who just spiraled right down into it. Like there's a difference between unironic and ironic. Okay. This shit is becoming unironic. It's becoming quite literally infomercial. I feel like shit just moves so fast for so many people and they're just not thinking straight. Every day is a new topic. Every day is a new discourse. Every day is something to gain over somebody else. Every day. And it's like, yeah. And then the, the whole, my whole antithesis on this, or I'm sorry, my whole, my whole, you know what really grinds my gears how people are dick writing malcolm malcolm in school we learned the coolest thing there were these people who did this broadcast and convinced everyone that aliens were landing so what we do is we wait for reese to fall asleep then we flash some lights outside his window he'll go to the tv but we'll have made a do it do it you're do totally it. overthinking this reese aliens, aliens landed, landed down, down the street, street. every man for himself every man for himself Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Can you repeat the question? Now, I could take this video in multiple directions if I wanted to, just building off that fucking insert and talking about, like, 
the things that we constantly discussed at the lunch tables might have had an impact on the way we discuss things on online today. And those who didn't get this experience, it fucking sucks for them. And those who did, uh, you just might understand a little bit more. But we're not going to take this video in that direction. Thank you for the follow. News. People who know how to play the game in the white supremacist spaces, who know how to get people radicalized subtly over time, those are the people that are coming back. Andrew Anglin, the founder of one of the most influential neo-Nazi websites, just one of hundreds of formerly banned users, now back on the platform after Musk's Thanksgiving tweet that amnesty begins next week. Meanwhile, the billionaire cutting the company staff, including those dedicated to monitoring abuse and hate speech. Musk. And it's like everybody, like, good move. Good fucking move. Good fucking move. Like, I hate that people are pretending that the existence of the world as it is right now, yeah, it's not real. It's not real. It, it, he's a fucking man, baby literally dragging us through the mud of being forced to i hey remember that that really shitty sketch we watched of uh the whitest kids you know hey everybody it's me zach and i i make it all about myself because i need attention and he literally will go trevor what the fuck like was it not enough to just have money like these people are deluding themselves into thinking that this guy is not doing what he's doing oh thou shall not worship a false idol but like they like oh you you got like okay 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 so i don't get stun locked super hard here so i don't get stun locked super hard here Why they so big on saying you guys pick George Floyd as your like pseudo leader? <laughs> like what? Why <laughs> why 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 did they assign you don't find that funny? That, oh, the leader of the Black Lives, the, the whole inspiration for being a martyr for Black Lives Matter is a crackhead named George Floyd. You don't see it's funny. You don't see how it's funny that, like, when Eric Gardner died, the response was, I can breathe. Like, those things were never, those things were never dived into. Those things, like, that's a standardized remembrance when this conversation comes up and he's just elon's just hey everybody's entitled to their opinion the billionaire cutting the company staff including those dedicated to monitoring abuse and hate speech musk is setting a tone of permissibility for the kind of behavior that had people shown the door in the first place after musk acquired the site slurs against black americans tripled and anti let's go Oh, he's at the top of the list. Let's go. Semitic tweets soared more than 61% five weeks after Elon Musk took over Twitter. This morning, the billionaire's vision for the platform. The kind of behavior. Slurs against black Americans tripled and anti-Semitic tweets soared more than 61%, according to groups that monitor online hate. Musk pushing back, calling reports of rising hate speech utterly false and tweeting hate speech impressions continue to decline and look at this fucking look at this look look at this fucking freedom of speech doesn't mean freedom of reach negativity should and will get less reach than positivity is he fucking serious is he fucking serious look at this graph look at this graph what is this what is this graph what is this graph? Two lines and a rant. This man is just bullshitting. Between October 17th and November 30th. So they just all of a sudden went straight down around. 
What is this graph? Wine, despite significant user growth. This morning, Ye's Twitter account remains suspended after being banned Thursday night. Musk writing, I tried my best. Despite that, he again violated our rule against incitement to violence. Account will be suspended. Are you surprised that Elon found that line in the sand? I thought it was about free speech, brother. Everybody has their line. For Elon, it seems to be relatively capricious. It seems to be based on uh, his feelings in the moment. But analysts worry that while one famous user is being punished, the real danger now has an open platform. So Musk says the decision to allow Ye back on the platform in the first place had nothing to do with him and was made well before he took over. No word yet on the estimated length of that ban, though. Guys, all right, thank you. Steve Patterson. And I say all this to say at the end of it. Oh, now them transitions is super on point. Let's go. We're back in the we're back in the we're back in the game, boys. All oh, the production value is crazy right now. This is a story about a social media website. The news is covering the internet as it's happening. What happened to Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Connection Collection? Do you even remember? Oh, that's what I thought. You know what else I thought? I thought that you would hit the like and the subscribe and the bell to stay notified because I'm the paradigm shift, motherfucker. And I'll see you in the next one. No, what the fuck is this? Hello?